Hi everyone, I'm Phil Waugh, former captain of the New South Wales Waratahs. I was lucky enough to play over 100 games for my beloved Waratahs, and this is my favourite. Beautiful night to end Sydney. Qualifying for the finals in the world's toughest provincial rugby competition can sometimes be considered an achievement in itself. However, in 2008, the New South Wales Waratahs weren't content to simply make the top four. Claiming a berth in the Super 14 final was all that really mattered. Standing in their way were the formidable Sharks of South Africa, although the Waratahs enjoyed one significant advantage because the semi-final was to be played on home turf at Allianz Stadium. I've been fortunate to play all around the world, but to come home to Allianz Stadium and play in front of a, a near capacity crowd was, uh, was a great feeling and it's my 100th game as well, so an extra special moment, but you run on, you've got 38,000 people in the crowd and it sends shivers up your spine I and mean, then you get the, uh, the goosebumps, but it's just an amazing ground. The Sharks opened the scoring with a drop goal. It's there. But after a somewhat sluggish start, the home side eventually found its rhythm and turned on the class. Takiri! Lottie Takiri! Try to the Waratahs! Whilst the game's so close, it takes a big play to change things. Certainly Rob Horn's tackle that night uh, changed the momentum of the game. We worked so hard, but we weren't accumulating points on the scoreboard, and that was the start of things to come. Takiri's try was followed just a few minutes later by centre Rob Horn in what was evolving as a one-sided contest. And the Waratahs, second try in the first half. The Tars took a 15-6 lead to the Sheds, a scoreline that didn't really indicate their dominance in the first 40. At half-time, we went to the Sheds reasonably happy. I think uh, we, we created a fair bit of momentum. 15-6, uh, the game's still pretty close, so we knew we needed to regroup and come out and start the second half fast and we did that well. Here's a try coming up. What a start to the second half for the Waratahs. Kirtley Beal scores some terrific play by the forwards. Then just a few minutes later, the Waratahs were in again, thanks to this daring snatch and grab at the scrum base. Oh, Luke Burgess has got to run away and score a try for the Waratahs, his first try in Super Rugby. At 25 points to six, the Waratahs were on their way to the competition decider against the Canterbury Crusaders. So coach Ewan McKenzie opted to give his captain, Phil Waugh, a well-deserved early mark with just under a quarter of the match remaining. Looking back on my career and the many games I've played at this stadium, it's probably the game that I look back at most fondly. Obviously playing my 100th game was a special moment, uh, but playing a home semi-final uh, in front of so many people uh, and obviously the result we got as well to go through to the final the next week and, uh, and just the confidence the guys had coming off that night. It was, uh, it was a fantastic night to be a part of. The Sharks snared a late consolation try through replacement hooker Craig Burden before Beal rounded off another impressive display with a neat three-pointer to make the final margin 15 and give the Tars a perfect record at home for the season. And they are through to the Super 14 final for the Waratahs and Waratahs supporters, I think it was a big night, and a big night for Allianz Stadium. We had a relatively uh, inexperienced backline with a, with a fairly experienced forward pack, and, uh, and I think putting it all together that year was, was exciting. Unfortunately, we, we went to Christchurch the following week and, and lost that final, but uh, we really put ourselves in the best possible position to win the title that year.